Now that Medic and Gino are a couple now, we continue this past story with them working together. I've been observing how Gino works, and I must say that I'm impressed. She also doesn't seem to mind all the blood and organs either. All of this is review for me. Where's the challenge? I came here to work, not to get bored. Update! She appears to be getting agitated. Perhaps it's time for me to step in. Great! Now I have blood all over my favorite uniform. I hope it washes out or else I'm going to be mad. Status report! She now appears to be getting mad because she has blood on her uniform. Should I say something? Or should I keep my distance? If I had access to my mother's knife back before she was killed, I would have made those thugs beg for mercy. Oh god! Now she's holding one of my melee weapons! I need to intervene right now before she hurts herself! If you want to keep your life, then don't come any closer. Relax, Tom. It's only me. I'm not going to lie. You had my adrenaline running there. Oh, sorry, Ludwig. I guess I'm still trying to adjust to my new surroundings. I know it's hard for you to handle blood after what you've been through. You're safe here, Gino. If anyone even dares to try to hurt you, I'll rip out their hearts. I think I need to get this blood off of my uniform before I get flashbacks of my past. As much as I agree with you, I happen to find blood on you very attractive. In fact, blood is a natural attire of mine. I know I get used to having blood on me eventually, but just not now. I completely understand, Gino. I'll let you take all the time you need to settle in here with me. Thank you for being so understanding, Ludwig. For the first time in my life, I actually feel like someone really cares about me. Of course, my love. I only want the best for you. After all, you are my girlfriend. I'll be right back, Ludwig. Don't you go anywhere. Don't worry, Shats. I'll be right here when you get back. Medic! Doc, are you there? Oh, for fuck's sake! What the fuck do you want from me now, Scout? Have you seen Gino anywhere? I want to ask her something. Scout, if you're thinking about having her drink your mad milk, then you better think again. There's no way in hell that I'm letting you hurt my girlfriend. Wait, girlfriend. Medic is seriously dating that pathetic loser. Don't you fucking dare insult her like that, Scout. She may be pathetic, but she's stronger than you'll ever be. You think I'm pathetic, Ludwig? What? No, no, my love, no. I don't think you're pathetic. I was just telling Scout to leave you alone. I hope so, Ludwig. I don't like having people lie to me. My dear, I speak nothing but the truth. I wouldn't dream of lying to you in a hundred years. Good. So, about you yelling at Scout, I love seeing a man defend his woman. Well, you're worth defending, Gino. In all my life, I've never seen such a perfect woman like yourself. I thank the world for letting me be with you. You gross. I can't believe you actually like a medic. Do you even know anything about her? I know that she's extremely smart, she has an act for science, and she also created her own customized metagon. That's actually cool, but that still doesn't answer my question. Do you know anything else about her? Like her interests? Well, for one thing, I know that she also likes animals and likes raising them as babies. At least you know a few things about her. Still, don't you think it's a bit too soon for you to jump into a serious relationship? Why would it be too soon? We already love each other. Have you actually ever heard her say that she loves you? Well, no. But I reckon she'll say it soon enough. That's the thing, Doc. She may not ever say it. I'm trying to prepare you for a relationship that may never get anywhere. That's possible, but I'm not giving up yet. I still believe that she'll say it when the time is right. Whatever you say, Medic. I just came to check on you. I hope you and Gino are happy together. Thank you, Scout. I think I may have found my perfect soulmate.